Amazing facts change lives. Growing up as a kid, um, my mother was uh, on drugs and alcohol, lots of fighting in the home. My mom would be abused mentally, verbally, physically. Went from California to Oregon, spent some time in Oregon, and it was just the same cycle of drugs, alcohol, violence. Uh, my mom's boyfriend would go to jail at times. Uh, she would wait until he would get out of jail and it was back to square one. The drugs and the alcohol escalated to a lot harder drugs, crystal meth, uh, cocaine, and lots and lots of alcohol. So I started using the alcohol to, um, as a medication, it was like a, to, the misery and the fear that I had, I wanted to drown all that misery. At times I would uh, just grab, you know, a bottle of beer and, and go out into the desert and, and just drink until I, sometimes I just pass out in the desert somewhere and wake up the next morning and you know and I just couldn't find rest. My stepdad had got me a motorcycle and so I started riding motorcycles. I'd drink a lot of beer, get on the motorcycle, ride into the desert, do donuts and just throw you know just ride on private property. People would chase me off and I was just causing stirring up dust and rocks and just uh, causing chaos and the adrenaline rush that I had was so exciting and the feeling of it was so intense that uh, I loved it and it, uh, I forgot about all my problems you know at the moment and I thought that material things would make me feel feel so good you know and so I started working started making money had a responsibility uh, but uh, as a time went by I had more money so I would uh, you know use my money that I made uh, to buy drugs and alcohol uh, got pulled over drinking and driving ended up going to jail uh, for a couple days I lost my job because I missed work for a few days um, lost my girlfriend lost uh, all the money that I had so once again I was empty no money, no drugs, no alcohol, and that was a turning point in my life. At this time, I was living with my grandfather, and as I was flipping through the channels on the satellite system, I found uh, amazing facts. Pastor Doug Batchelor was telling his, sharing his testimony about how he was living in a cave, and he, was, he struggled the same struggles of alcohol and drugs, and I continued to read the book, The Richest Caveman, and it really impacted my life and really related to the things he was struggling with and, and all of the events that took place in his life. And when I started reading the Bible, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I recognized that I had no strength. I was weak and uh, I was wretched and, and I needed help. So I just asked the Lord, I said, just help me, Lord. And, and the Holy Spirit uh, convicted me and I decided to be baptized and to give my life to Jesus Christ. Uh, a few years after the Lord uh, took the temptation of drinking and doing drugs, He gave me a beautiful wife I met at church. Uh, now I have a beautiful baby boy, two-year-old baby boy. It's just exciting to see, you know, what God is, is doing in my life and in my family. I met with some friends from my local church that I was attending and they had t told me about Amazing Facts Center of Evangelism training seminar. The AFCO to go program really inspired me and motivated me to tell young people about you know, the same struggles that I was struggling with to help these kids give your life to Jesus Christ and there's nothing else that you could ask for. I'm Justin and God used you to change my life. Amazing facts change lives. I had a lot of pressure as a pastor's kid to, to perform. 
they're not allowed to make the same mistakes as everyone else. Not only are people looking at you, but they're judging your father according to what they see in you. After a while, you get tired of carrying that load as a child. By the time it got uh, time for me to leave home, I was pretty much finished with all that. I just, I wasn't good enough and I didn't belong in there. So when I left home, I went to the world at a dead run. You know, I partied and went to work and, you know, was living my life as the way I wanted to. And I just wanted to be left alone. One day, I was driving my motorcycle with some buddies of mine. All of a sudden, I had oil running everywhere, all up and down my arm and across my legs and rippling down the tank in the wind and loaded it up on a trailer and sent it to the shop to have it fixed. So I went to pick it up and, and the mechanic came out and he said, you know, he said, we got your front end rebuilt. He said, that, that wasn't the bad part. He said, the bad part was the only thing holding the front tire on was the weight of the motorcycle. So all I would have had to have done was accelerate quickly and the front tire would have came off. And it got my attention, it got me to thinking, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about, uh, you know, the relationship that they have with Jesus and all that, and I, I didn't even know what that was supposed to look like. It began to work on my mind, I think. God was beginning to speak to me. I believe that you could say I may be a poster child for the, the shepherd lost sheep story because I wasn't looking for God. I uh, didn't really care, but he cared about me. And he came and got me. Together, we have spread the gospel much farther than ever before. Thank you for your support.